Big news for the Rust based desktop environment coming from System 76's Pop OS distribution. Yes, they've officially announced what framework they're going to be using to build their apps in this Rust based Linux desktop environment. And here is a UI design that has been shared by System 76's team to show you kind of what things will look like with the new desktop environment. I'll be showing you around this as well as talking about that new framework that they're going to be choosing and why it's so exciting for Rust development. Let's check out some things here. So this is the new settings screen that we can see here. We really have a few sections, which we have these mini icons here, and then sub categories here after you select a specific icon. So this one looks like it's relating to Wi-Fi, and then you have stuff like desktop, I assume configurations, and maybe this one's email, not certain because you can't really use this. Now I've built this actually out of source code in a Rust, based on the work in progress, which I'll show you the repo for all of this here in a bit. You can actually build the source code yourself on a Pop! OS Linux distribution and actually use some of these tools for yourself. And if you're interested in that, check out some of my links below where you can see my videos on me going through that source code and compiling it to show you further these tools. But either way, if we click on some of this, you'll notice what dialogues look like, the color scheme here, kind of how they open and close and where they belong currently. Now, of course, this is a work in progress, so it might change. We can see things such as the time date calendar here, Bluetooth options, and what you can do. Of course, this is all temporary, it might change, but now you kind of see the interaction here as you're using the desktop. We can move this section up and down as well. You can click on favorites up top or a search bar can appear and you can easily narrow these options as needed. Some other things that are available here, tiling app, workspaces button. You can kind of see a transition between these two an animation perhaps as they switch through. Don't miss that. Now let's get to the date and time up top. If you look here in System 76's Cosmic Rust desktop version, you can see they have a very simple calendar with some information or events that you have on your calendar below. Super simple. They're coming up with this. So we look at the 13th, no events this day. 27th, they have a dental appointment and a reading a reminder. That's some of the UI up top, but let's uh, actually look at some of these on the right side. So on the right hand side, we have tiling windows support, just like we have in Pop! OS today in the non Rust based desktop version. And why is this so exciting for Rust? Well, this is one of the first, if not the first, completely Rust based desktop environment that's going to be available on Linux, specifically designed to run with Pop! OS. So make sure to follow more information about this by subscribing below and smashing that like button because we'll be getting in more depth with this in the future. But for now, we'll continue looking through the desktop environment and understanding some choices being made. If you hit the sound option, you'll get this drop down, which they all look very similar here. Of course, this is the dark setting. You can click here on output. You notice how the animation works and kind of how things pop up. Again, this is the UI design that's been presented. This is not me running things on an operating system. We'll go over to Bluetooth, very similar here as well. What can we click? Other Bluetooth devices. Notice how things kind of expand and collapse as you go. You can actually enable or disable stuff by clicking the buttons, canceling out. So again, very cool, unique desktop environment. It's looking pretty slick, definitely better than what I thought it was going to be. Almost a year ago now is when System76 introduced the Cosmic Desktop, and they do run the Cosmic Desktop right now on their current versions. We should be expecting a 22.10 update very soon here, but don't quite expect this Rust-based desktop environment to be released up until 2023. Sometime, hopefully, in that second quarter, we'll see maybe this desktop be presented to us. Either way, continuing on to the top, we have battery power here. So you can change what performance level you want to use if you have a laptop. Of course, dimming your screen. And this here looks like uh, maybe a dim for the keyboard. Nothing really to interact with here. We'll move on to messages or notifications. So you have a do not disturb button up top. You can clear all your notifications. Get them back, of course. And if you open up, let's say a Slack conversation, you can see the various different people. You can clear a group. Let's continue on to clear all notifications. We'll open that back up so we can check out some more notifications, such as 
these Google notifications. Notice how I'm scrolling up and down to see more things. Very good. All right, and moving on to the power button, we have settings, which leads to basically this page here and sleeping, shutting down, restarting, or logging out of the current user space. Well, that's a quick overview of this. Again, if you wanna see a video with more in-depth information and me running this through source code, you can, but let's actually talk about a confirmation that Iced is replacing GTK apps for the new Cosmic Desktop. So very interesting here. We can see if we look into this picture a little closer, let me highlight something that was shown to us, perhaps not purposely, but it says Cosmic Desktop System Iced. Well, that kind of exposed the fact that it looks like Pop! OS and the creators over at System76 are planning on using something called Iced instead of GTK, which is an alternative framework solution to building applications. And what is phenomenal about Iced is it's a Rust based framework. So GTK is really a C based framework. It definitely makes sense why system 76 plans on making this move over to ice. And it is quite exciting because we're going to have a full fledged rust programmed desktop environment. That's going to be running lots of great new development coming into rust. I have videos about some of that new development as well. Check it out below, but let's look at the confirmation for this. A desktop engineer from system 76 actually said, this is in fact true right here. After much deliberation and experimentation over the last year, the engineering team has decided to use ICE instead of GTK. So here's ICE website, a cross platform GUI library for Rust focused on simplicity and type safe. You can check out the API reference for the latest release and take a deep dive into this GUI library that the system 76 team has chosen. See some of the code and examples. I'll put a link in the description below to this as well, because it's quite exciting to learn about this. And it's super cool to see just how much Rust development there's going to be in this new desktop environment. Also, Iced is open source and available to everybody and anybody to inspect. Here are some of the features of Iced being presented to us live. And it's showing you some scaling and scrollable information, as well as how things can be added buttons that can be selected and a to-do list that you can create a little app. Either way, you can look at all the features of Rust, but it's amazing to see the Rust community and System76 joining together to really form a wonderful laptop and desktop experience for all of us. Here's the Cosmic Panel work in progress that you can actually build for yourself and run if you want to on Pop! OS. Notice that their project is 99.4% based on Rust. And there's plenty of stuff being worked on here with Pop! OS and the Cosmic Desktop by System76. Follow their progress by checking out their repo. And we can see contributions being made to the Cosmic theme as recently as 18 hours ago. And if you want to read more about Cosmic Desktop and specifically the Cosmic panel, a first look at it written by Eduardo Flores, and even check out the UI design live on Figma, you can do it by looking at that description below. Are you excited to see all this Rust development coming to fruition? I know I am. And I'm also very excited to see how Iced gets used in the Cosmic Desktop. As you can see here, plenty of development happening across the board, updated 22 hours ago. They're really hard at work right now, trying to use Iced to get things going. Hopefully we'll receive even more updates here soon, but what a win for the Rust community. Check out my other video about how Rust implemented drivers in the Linux kernel can be on par with C level language performance in an actual real world benchmark right here. I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.